Just a fair warning to all my lovely viewers, you will be subjected to high concentrations of jobbing in this video. A lot of L's that will leave you lost, confused, upset, and maybe even angry. With that being said, hit the like button to balance out the vibes. I'll also be having Christmas music going so you guys aren't too sad while you witness this, but yeah. This was heavily requested as well as it did end up getting purchased, and this is Gohan being a jobber, aka Gohan letting the streets down. Now, if you guys don't know, Gohan uh, is the son of Goku, one of the most famous fictional characters of all time in Dragon Ball Z, uh, a half Saiyan, half human hybrid. Gohan was supposed to one day surpass his daddy. Of course, he never did because he was destined and confined to being a jobber. We are going to review some legendary jobber moments of uh, Gohan's and if you want to see a part two we'll try to run this up to like 500 likes and I'll happily do that uh, but without further ado I hope you guys enjoy and let's begin so first moment to talk about for the L magnet right Gohan got mauled by Nappa but this mauling was a different type of mauling Nappa the big dumb Saiyan is administering this beating to gohan keep in mind during this fight he had been trained by piccolo he like all the hope was relied upon in him and he chose i, I don't care if he's a kid he chose to job and fumble the bag and got his boy piccolo absolutely brutalized for his mistakes just showing how much of a jobber he is next it was vegeta's turn that's right saiyan saga vegeta beating up gohan at this point we were hyped up because gohan's supposed to be this super strong prodigy he sees everything going on he's going into sand rage pulls up on vegeta still fumbles the bag loses gets beat up by uh, by vegeta like come on come on gohan like it sucks too because i feel like i genuinely feel like a lot of us rooted for Gro uh, gohan growing up with him and we were never rewarded I, I, I don't remember feeling rewarded as a Gohan fan, but let me know in the comment section down below your most rewarding moment as a Gohan fan because I'll let you know in a little bit why I don't count the Cell thing as a win for me as a Gohan fan. But anyways, moving on, he got bullied by the trashest Ginyu Force guy. I remember, I think it was Girl or something like that. I, I don't even remember his name. He's trash. Pulls up on him and Krillin. They get folded and we're about to like get sacrificed by a machine and he got saved but the dude it like gohan's career he doesn't even lose to main tiers all the time he will happily put over a b-lister it's 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 just dreadful next the time uh raycoom almost put him on a t-shirt this <laughs> This is in the thumbnail. I mean, this is one of the most brutal moments uh, I think you could watch uh, for a mainstream anime. It's uh, it's up there, man, because uh, with context, Gohan's a child, right? But runs up, gets punted so hard, his damn neck was mangled, and his father had to pop in and save him with the senzu bean. But that's right, this boy should have been born with a life alert chain. He's constantly getting put on that shit, and he got rocked and was just out. Like, he he would have been gone without the Senzu Bean. It was, it was horrible. Next, we, we're going to be covering a lot of Gohan lore, including, uh, like, other shows and events, and this would include movies. I think it was called Tree of Might, but uh, it was basically a fake-looking Goku. I think his name was Talis or Tolis or something like that. Uh... In some renditions, I think it's Turles, too. Uh, who the fuck knows? You guys know I butcher names. This is shit. It is what it is. Uh, but mo anyways, Gohan, of course, jobs to him, right? And gets just to get his shit stolen, basically. Like, he was like, yo, kid, you're pretty strong. Run your shit. Runs up on Gohan. Gohan gets bopped. I'm just, I'm, I like, at this point, man, like, can we do anything for Gohan? Why does the writer hate him so much? 
Can y'all let me know in the comment section? I don't know the particulars behind why he gets hated on so much in the writing, but if there's actually like an acknowledged reason for why he gets shit on so much, I would actually love to see it in the comment section down below. And, and if there is a legit reason, I'll probably pin it because that's interesting. But <laughs> yeah, even in movies, he's taking L's. Next. Oh, man, this this was rough. So, first of all, he lost to a goon. So, there's some, you know, substance there to help ease the pain. Because Frieza is an absolute menace. But, the way he got folded by Frieza was the stuff of jobbing nightmares. You see, he pulled up on Frieza. He thought he was putting in work. He was swinging on him. He's like, man, might not be a jobber anymore. Might get the W for the gang. The squad might be proud of what I'm pulling off. He's putting all this work in, right? Trying his hardest. Just to find out and learn, Frieza was memeing him and letting him get hits in to let him know that once Big Frieza transforms, there's not shit he can do. And this psychological, brutal uh, torture Gohan went through, like to build up the jobbing L, was excruciating pain. Uh, and the only thing that lessens the impact of the jobbing L is it happened to a goon. Like, Freeze's a goon. He did it. So it helps. It's not like he lost to a complete jobber. So there is that. Next, the time Gohan going over to GT. Gohan fans, at least a lot of people hate GT, so no one will probably care about this. But um, regardless, Gohan got mauled by Baby, right? Not only that, though. I don't think Baby even kept him as a vessel. So, you know how people be stealing bodies and shit in Dragon Ball. It's a pretty common occurrence. Um, Gohan wasn't fly enough, I guess. Uh, Gotenks, uh, I believe, got snatched. Or Goten got snatched by Baby. But not Gohan. That's an L. Like, that's kind of embarrassing. Like, why aren't you one of the premier ones? I, I don't know. But, you know, of course he lost and jobbed regardless to Baby. But, yeah, that shit happened. Next... Oh, man. Punching bag time in the streets for Gohan. So, future Gohan was basically, like, the only one at the time that could, like, stand up to the androids in any capacity. The only problem with that is he couldn't do shit to the androids. Like, he couldn't beat them. What would end up happening... And, you know, hit the like button for, you know, me having the courage to talk to you guys about such loser moments. They would use him as basically a play toy and a chew toy. They would bring him out, have him come fight just to beat him up and ragdoll him for shits and giggles. That's right. They would literally just summon Gohan to beat him up when they were bored. That's horrifying. Like, someone save him. Save Gohan from the jobbing at this point. Cancel the character. Get him out of there. Kill him off. Do something. They're like, show mercy. This is rough. Next, the time he lost to uh, Debra. Now, <laughs> this is rough because at one point he's jobbing so hard. Someone says to him, yo, Gohan, did you get weaker since the last arc? Now, let me explain to you why that shit's ridiculous. Saiyans get stronger over time. How? Through violence battles learning damage all these things right they all factor into helping mold a stronger saiyan warrior it's literally in their dna with that being said go on managed to get worse he managed to get worse this is shit you can't make up and he took an allen job uh but the fact that he he sucked at even progressing is crazy but yeah, leave it to Gohan to do that shit. Next, um, the time Super 17 casually folded Gohan. Uh, now, this, this was rough because panning over, like, when you, when you look at it, all the L's we basically talked about at this time, Gohan took in direct combat, right? This was more of him and someone else getting rocked by an AOE attack and, like, indirectly just being L's. Gohan was there, got rocked by being in the presence of the attack, and was put down. Like, come on, dude. Like, you you accidentally got folded. That shit's just rough for the streets. Like, Gohan fans, they, uh, I, 
I don't know what to do for you. I, I'll pray for you guys. Um, I wish you guys a wonderful holiday season uh, and all that. But this shit's uh, this is rough. Um, <laughs> I, yeah, like this shit. This is getting ridiculous. Next, this is why, and this is a good time to explain why I don't uh, respect his W over Cell because his bitch ass was getting beat up and mangled for the longest time in that fight. Because he didn't want to fight back. When I tell you this is the most frustrating jobber you might come across if you're a fan of him, I remember screaming as a kid for him to fight back. For God's sake, please fight back. And then you're looking at Goku giving a sensu bean to Cell to like get his power back up just for him to beat the shit out of Go uh, Gohan some more. It was crazy. He had us like, yo, is Goku the worst father ever? He had us saying shit like that. And he was getting dragged because he didn't have the heart of a fighter please gohan stop being soft for the love of god next the time he almost got put on a t-shirt by boo and bobbity because he has no heart and he just can't seem to get the job done uh, th this was rough boo pulled up now boo's one of my favorite villains of all time because he's fucking hilarious turns you into candy he's disrespectful just clowns Gohan it was horrible Gohan couldn't land shit was just absolutely doing nothing had to be saved because he was putting over the new big bad Boo who was absolutely styling styling on him and last moment for the video make sure to hit the like button um <laughs> it's just a shout out to a dude that invested a lot of time into him for him to just a job so I gotta call him out for that shit Piccolo. Piccolo spent all this time training, caring about, and trying to help build Gohan into something relevant just for Gohan to shit on him by putting up a Hall of Fame jobber career. Let me, not, uh, let me know what you guys think about Gohan as a jobber. Do you think he's a jobber? Do you think he's more goon? I, he does have some goon moments, obviously, um, and I could make a goon moment video on Gohan. Let me know in the comment section down below if he deserves it though after what I showed you today. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Of course this is all jokes. We love these characters. That's why we make this content. It's for laughs. It's hilarious. But thank you guys so much for watching. We're getting closer and closer to some wild ass content dropping on Christmas. So stay tuned. But anyways, been your boy Jobbers and Goons. Go check out my second channel Coffee Shop. We crossed 1k last night. I'm so excited. I got battles dropping over there today. So yeah, definitely check it out. Anyways, it's been your boy, Jobbers and Goons, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.